Right, he's back. Gas guy. He just comes and bothers me. Yeah, he just comes and bothers me for free advertise. That's basically what it is. <laughs> But I tell you what, I am going to put you to work, Dave, because what I want to do is I want, as an independent person, you'll be the third person that's tried this out now, to test the Honda Civic both on starting and on knocking the steering rack. So this is literally, this has been left all last night. He said it was hard starting. If it's going to hard start, it's going to do now. Now, remember, it is a diesel, so you do need to wait for that little coil light to go out. But don't leave him running because we'll gas ourselves. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'll never leave him on. So if I roll, accidentally back a car in, they just roll rather than get damaged. That's start, that is straight up. That is straight up from absolute cold. That is absolutely fine. Yeah, and I did it yesterday. I did it when it was warm repeatedly. Oh, okay, so I think you might want to turn the, turn the engine off so you can hear it maybe. Then I've got no power steering. That's not real. No, but if it's in a rack, you won't. It won't be the power. It's but not the power. It's in there straight away. Okay, that's perfect. Right. No right. Problem. So turn it off and just rock the steering a bit. Do you hear the little little clunk there? No. What are you on about? There's a little little. There isn't. I'm listening for it. Well, you're supposed to be listening for it as well. No, there isn't. No, it's nothing, is it? It's absolutely nothing. There's... There's nothing there, mate. Yeah. Okay, well, you said it was driving at low speed, so perhaps we should have you testing that, but there's certain, if it was in the rack, it should be doing it now, to be honest. Honestly, I can't hear a thing. Okay, all right. So we're going to send it out again, and we're going to put a gas guy warranty on this one. I like it. It's a nice car. Right, okay. We'll, we'll, let's talk off camera. Let's, let's, let's get a deal, a deal done, and we'll talk off camera. No, to be honest, though, you could be a bigger pain in the bum than anyone. I <laughs> So I can tell everyone why you need to get another car for me. What's happened to the one I sold you last time? The last car you sold me, rats have it. <laughs> God's honest. Well, you have to get some pictures in this. Yeah. <laughs> so I sold, I sold Ian the, uh, what was it, Mocha. Yeah. And about, was it a month or two later, you sent me some pictures? Yeah, a month later, the missus said uh, she'd left a, like a coffee cup. And you know the, the top you get off the cost of coffee, you know the plastic. Yeah. It had been chewed in the front, in the passenger seat of the car. She said, I think something's chewed something in there. And I'm like, don't be stupid. Anyhow, she looked in the glove box and her umbrella. No, she looked in the glove box and she got like a makeup bag, green makeup bag. And it had been chewed in the corner. She went, something's at it, something's at it. Of course, it's all pandemonium then, isn't it? She's like, it's a big rat, it's a great big rat. Anyhow, I'm saying, don't be stupid, nothing's at it. Literally, between the rear seat and the back seat, a rat had burrowed through the seat, chewed a hole. You know, <laughs> You know where your seatbelt bit comes out? Yeah. Shoot a hole through there. Shouldn't laugh, really, because it's about pain in the, the bum, boot, isn't it? Went in the boot, lifted the boot. There was rat shit, you name it, it was in there. And there was, her umbrella had been chewed up. That was all pissed off. Yeah, so it's actually... I'll try and get the pictures in here, because you sent me the pictures, didn't you? Pictures, yeah. yeah, is it like in the back? In the, in where the that seatbelt seat buckle is there, it's, it's chewed, chewed right through. through, isn't it? Yeah. And it, you, now you can sit in the front seat and just look through, and there's, there's a spy hole to the boot. So you do, do you own... You actually own the, the claim to fame of the most random warranty claim I've ever had. Yeah, I actually didn't claim to be fair. Yeah. I just cleaned the car. I actually... <laughs> paid 300 pounds for a guy to come out a proper rack control guy to the house just in case they've got in the house and all that so there are people i'm sure that i've had it in the comments before that will hold me responsible for a rat entering your car it somehow your it's that my fault was in there when you sold me you sold me the rat mobile <laughs> what do you think we did is i violated the whole thing inside do you think you just ran around the inside of the car him in the back <laughs> I popped in the back for you let it out of its cage and sold me the car <laughs> and i thought that'll be good youtube revenue that <laughs> Ian, do you want a brew? Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I've got some milk in for you today as well. <laughs> now, in other news, we have our Park Exchange Mini in. So this came in Park Exchange against the MG3 in the earlier video. And this is a car I can tell you I categorically will not be retailing. <laughs> it is, um, it's a tired old little car, bless it, 2003 all the bodies faded i have this thing though where when i'm looking at this car i'm immediately thinking oh get out treat the plastics or even paint the plastics polish the body work up you know we all seem pretty clean it'll actually clean up quite nicely but you've got to be realistic about this i'm never going to retail it so i could never the, the lights need a polish 
Yeah, I'm never going to retail it, so I cannot merit spending that time on it. I didn't give a lot for it in part exchange. I'll be honest, I gave £250 for it in part exchange. Now, that might seem that I've taken someone for a ride. What I actually did was, well, some people think I'm taking it for a ride. This car has got faults, and it probably is only worth £250. But what I did is I said to the guy, because they'd done business with me before, I'd effectively, I'd given £500 for the car but I would deduct something off the price of the car so that this came in on the books at 250 because it is not worth 500 pounds. Uh, I'll explain why. For starters, it's MOT is only two months, I think, if that. It's not that tidy. And the big thing is, when you drive it, because I did test drive it before I took in part exchange, when you drive it, it's got a grumble. And, uh, oh, I've got the wrong keys. I'm trying to put Honda keys in it. Two seconds. Now, one of the reasons I was generous to this guy on it is because the family bought on a car from me before, and they are a really nice family. And um, we, had a little, oh, we had a little problem with their car. Uh, I put a gearbox in it um, when I used to do the work myself and put a drive shaft in and pinched the seal. And it wasn't until they took it away and drove it for a bit we realised it was leaking. But they were cool about it, let me go and fix it without any hassle. Um, for any smart Alex get in the comment, try trading two or three hundred cars that are over ten years old with a hundred thousand miles on and tell me even with the fullest prep in the world you don't have any problems, I'll call you a liar. Uh, there is something grumbly. Sounds like it could be in the gearbox or it could be a clutch release bearing. So, the gearbox isn't even that nice to be honest. Where are we there? There, 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 there. Yeah, it could be a nasty. Got first eventually. Could be a nasty gearbox. Yeah, some, there's something in the transmission, I think, that's grumbly or graunchy. If I let the car sit, it's not affected by the clutch, so I don't think it's released. I think it might be in the transmission itself. I mean, the thing runs and drives. I don't know whether I'm just bad at getting first or this is a problem with it. I think that's third, not first. That might be me, but yeah, I don't know the transmission is that good. So 133,965. So this is a project for someone. This is a project for someone who's got a bit of time on their hand. They're handy with the spanners and wants to have a little play or they want to part it out. Just fix their one up. You can hear that grumble when we're in gear. Could be a bad drive shaft, I guess, but my gut is it's something in the transmission. But yeah, it could be a nice little project for someone who wants to uh, get their hands dirty, do a cheap do some cheap fixes on it and just get it drivable it could be somebody who just wants to run it into the ground it could be a parts car for someone but it's certainly nothing i shall be selling anything other than spares and repair in fact i think i've already got a home for this a friend of mine's doing a trip to Nur the nurberg ring in cars under 500 pounds and uh, this may may get him there and back i'm not entirely sure it might be something minor, you don't know, but you just don't start going down, you don't start taking parts off of it and go down that rabbit hole unless you know there's a way out at the end. And this is never going to retail for an awful lot of money either, so just not worth getting involved in. And this is why you must drive your part X's because it isn't necessarily always that the people know there's a problem. Sometimes people aren't mechanically minded and haven't got a clue there's a problem with the car. But without driving it, you could get badly burnt. You could just say, well, and it's always tempting with the cheap cars as well not to drive them because you think, well, it's never worth a lot of money, so I can't be bothered. But you can still get hurt badly if you um, don't check them over. So there we go. Our little, I'm not doing a lot. I don't do a lot of park exchanges, but recently I've had a couple. The Ford Focus sold. I don't know if I told the story of what happened with my Ford Focus that I took in the other day. I drove it home for the weekend, test it out and see if it's going to be right cold starting. Turned out, Chapu Park Exchange, it was an honest geezer. It was a lovely driving car. I was sat in the house on Sunday, neighbour knocked on the door and said, oh, we were looking for something around that kind of size. 
would you be interested in selling it? I said, well, yeah, everything's up for sale. And we did a deal on it and they took it there and then I had to get lift into work. So they took it from me as it stood there and there. Luckily, my neighbor is very mechanically minded. He knows his stuff. He fixes cars like he's done full engine rebuilds. So he was happy to take it without me doing any work to it with the MOT that was remaining on it. Uh, discounted price and for me, it was just a quick turnover. So Friday morning, straight in with a buy. Was down Moors, paying up some of my bills. Uh, dropping off the Sanyon, try and get the, uh, it was overheating, was it? Check, check that out on it. And there was a lady there that had this car serviced with Moors, but was looking to sell it because she'd been given a bigger car by her mother and she was looking to sell this one off. So um, put a deal together and bought it. Never seen one before in my life. Wasn't even sure what I was buying. An Arona, see it Arona. Um, I think it's just an Ibiza, isn't it? All jacked up off the, with a bit of body kit on it. Seems seems pretty much the same size. It's only done. <clears throat> it's only done thirty nine thousand miles. Thirty nine thousand three nine three. I don't think it's the highest spec one. Fabric interior, but it's got quite a nice duty touch screen on it. And I've got the keys. Let me get the keys a sec. Go around lecky windows. Uh, oh, it's all very VW because it is VW, isn't it? What's it telling me? Caution engine running because I've got the door open. Oh, there we go. You've got a nice little, uh, nice little touch screen there. I don't know if that's, if that's DAB or not. Aircon, USB ports, all the basic stuff you'd want in the car. It's all, it's 2019, so as you'd expect, it's all very clean. What have we got in here? That's just all stereo controls and stuff, isn't it? And Bluetooth. But yeah, it's got a full service history. Obviously, again, with its age, it's not needed many. Moore's did them all. There's like three service histories. There's one owner car. I've driven it up here. It drives nicely. All around lucky windows, electric mirrors. Yeah, drives nicely. I'm not sure what engine this is. I've done next to no research. All I literally did was check what I thought its trade price was. And, oh, it's got cruise control as well, actually. I just checked what its trade price was. Ran it and thought, there was a deal, a, a chance to make some money. What we're gonna do, I'm not gonna to get too involved in this car with, with you guys, because what I did straight away is ring my friend, the main dealer, and see if they had some interest in retailing this, because this is gonna be financed, I would imagine. It needs to be on a forecourt with other cars like this. So I gave him a quick ring, asked him what he'd bid on it for me, and before I made my offer, he gave me a strong deal. So I bought it off the lady and he's about to come and pick it up and take it away. I've literally just driven it from Moors up to here. He's on his way over to pick it up now, presumably, I guess, because it looks to me it's in really good condition. None of the wheels are curved. It needs no paint that he's probably going to give it a wash and stick it up for the weekend. I would do if I was him and I had the, well, I had a valet in bay and valet to do these things for me. So, yeah. Could, uh learn me my wage for the day won't it so that's our dealer off in the arona he's going to try and get it washed and up for sale before the weekend how about this for uh business relationships not only did he obviously pay me for the car but bought muffins and i was even given a few flowers look at that lovely anyhow right on to Oh, I will actually try and put those somewhere away where I don't end up polishing the whole lot off. Got some cleaning to do. I've got to get cracking on the Tiguan and re-clean the Honda.